Hello everyone. Welcome to People's Op channel. My name is Samir and in today's episode we are going to discuss about one of the productivity tool for People's Op developer. The tool is called as PS Chrome which is one of the web extension which was developed by Shelby Melbourne for Chrome browser. As a People's Op developer we may need to perform the technical analysis for which we may have to interact with application designer. So in this case, this PS Chrome tool can be really effective in simplifying the technical analysis process and hence saving our time. So the agenda for today is we will see how to install this web extension and how to use this extension in our technical analysis. So with that agenda in mind for today, Let's start the discussion. So let's start with the installation of this web extension into Google Chrome. So in the Chrome browser, let's click on this three dots. In the extension section, let's visit the Chrome Web Store. In the Chrome Web Store, let's search for an extension called PS Chrome. So this is our required extension which is called as PS Chrome and it has a developer identity as melbourne.me. So let's click on this extension and let's add it to Chrome. It will ask for a permission. Let's add the extension. And once the extension installation is successful, we can see the extension being added to your Chrome browser. So that's about the installation of this extension. After installation of this extension for your Chrome browser, next time when you log into your PeopleSoft system and when you enter into a component, then you will be able to see these set of icons. So these icons are the features provided by the web extension and the presence of these icons confirms that the extension is now working for your PeopleSoft system. Now let's discuss about the features provided by this web extension. The first feature is the instant access to field information for any field on the given PeopleSoft page. Let's say you want to know what is the record and what is the field for this employee name. So the default approach to know this information would be you would first find the page name which is PC employee page then you would open the page into application designer and from here you will get the information about what is the record name and what is the field name the extension can do this with the help of just one click now we have this first icon here which says field information as soon as we click on this icon we get the i icon for each of the field on the peoplesoft now let me zoom out so if we click on the i icon for employee name we can get the same information with just one click here we can see that the table name is pc underscore employee underscore table and the field name is pc underscore emp underscore name and we have a separator of underscore between a record and a field so this feature can be extremely time saving in some of these situations. Let me demonstrate you one such situation. So here we have a supervisor field and we have configured a prom table for this field. Now you need to know what is the prom table for this supervisor field. In order to do that, you may start your analysis by first knowing the table name. In this case, the table is PC underscore employee underscore table and the field is supervisor. So you may go to this field and you may go to the edits option. But here, unfortunately, the prompt table is not just one prompt table. So we have person editable setup. That means it is a dynamic prompt table. So in order to know the name of the prompt table, Again, you have to go one step further and find the people code 
where this prom table is getting set up via person editable. In our case, we have written the people code on the page under page activate event. So if we check the people code, then this is the area where we are setting the prom table via person editable. As we can see, we have four possible prom table here. Now, as this is just a tutorial, the code is very simple, but in the real world, into production applications, the people code might be big in size and it might take a considerable time to analyze the code and get the correct prompt table. But no need to worry, with the help of this extension, you can get this information about the correct prompt table in just one click. So once we open the prompt, we have the set of icons here. If we click on the icon and if we click on this I button for this field, here we have the name of the prompt table, which is analyst underscore prompt and ample ID is the field. As we can see, we have this prompt table coming from here. So as this is a dynamic prompt table, we may get different prompt table for different situation. So let's test that. Let's say we open another employee, for example, employee ID 8. So this employee has a different designation. In that case, if we open the prompt table and if we check the prompt table, this time it is SD underscore prompt, which is set up as per the employee designation. So in this way, this extension can be really helpful to quickly find your prompt table even though it is a dynamic prompt table. Another way this extension can be really helpful to us is that we can instantly find the search record for our component. Let's say we have some issues with our search results and we want to know what is the search record for our component. So again, the default way is get the page information, get the component, open this component into application designer and in the component properties, in the use tab, we can get the search record. In our case, it is PC underscore active underscore EMP underscore view. But with the help of this extension, we can get the same information in just one click. So let's click on the field information icon to enable this feature. So if we click on this I button, we can get the same information. So the search record here is PC underscore active underscore EMP underscore view and the search field is ample ID because we are searching with the help of employee ID. So these are the ways this field information feature can be extremely useful while performing the technical analysis. The next feature is page information feature. So in PeopleSoft system, we can get the page information with the help of either Control plus Shift plus J or with the help of Alter plus J. So when we press this keys, we get the page information like this. And from here, we can get the critical information for our PeopleSoft application. But let's say for some reason, none of this approach is working for you. It can be a browser issue or this feature might be disabled in your system. And still, if you want to get the page or component information, in that case, this tool can do this for you with the help of a click. So in the icons section, the second icon is for page information. So if we click on that, we can get the exact same information with the help of one click. So that's how this tool can provide you page information. So the next feature is the auto refresh feature for processes in process monitor. So as a PeopleSoft developer, I'm sure that you will have a time when you are waiting into process monitor and you're eagerly waiting for a process to complete. So while the process is running, you would hit on the refresh button again and again to get the current status of the process. So this manual activity of refreshing the process monitor 
is automated with the help of this web extension. Now I have opened the process monitor into Edge browser where the extension is not installed. Now let me open process monitor into Chrome browser where the extension is installed. So we have opened the Chrome browser. Now let's say we want to run this process called as portal underscore CSS. So let's click on OK. And now if we go to the process monitor, we are getting this message at the top saying refreshing in X seconds. So the extension will automatically refresh the page as per the scheduled timing. So now refreshing in 2, 1. And as we can see, the extension has successfully refreshed the page for us. This way, we can just submit the process, we can open the process monitor, we can sit back and relax, and the extension will automatically refresh the page after every few seconds. So for now, I have set up to refresh the page after every 15 seconds. However, we can change the settings for our extension. So in order to configure this setting, we need to click on this settings icon. Then in the settings option, we have the default refresh time and this time is in seconds. So let's say we want to refresh after every 30 seconds. So let's provide the value here and let's click on set button. Now let's reopen the process monitor. So if we open the process monitor, this time as you can see, it will refresh after every 30 seconds. So apart from the auto refresh feature, we have some additional quick links option provided by the extension. So if we open the edge browser where the extension is not installed, we can see that the last column we have is the details column. However, if we compare it against the Chrome browser, we have the extra column called as quick links. And this option provides us quick access to certain links, such as the first link is the log options. And if we click on this, it immediately takes us to the message log, which is generated by the running process. So let's go back. So the second option is to delete this particular instance of the process. So let's say we want to delete this instance. We can simply click on it. It will ask for a confirmation. And if we click on OK, we can see now the run status for this process is delete. So that's the delete option. And the third option provides us the log information in the trace area of the application. So if we click on this link, it will take us to the view log trace option. From here, we can directly go to the trace files. So that's the feature provided by this extension. The next feature provided by this web extension is the log analyzer for SQL trace files. So let's see one example. So let's say we want to analyze one trace file for our PeopleSoft application. So as we can see, it's a big log file and it contains combination of SQL statements and people code statements. As it's a big file, we can make use of the log analyzer feature for SQL trace. In order to do that, we need to copy the content of this log. Once we have copied the contents of the log, we need to click on this setting icon for the web extension. And in the settings options, we have the log analysis option. So let me expand this input box. So here we need to paste our log contents. So let me paste the log contents. As the log file is huge, it may take a couple of seconds for the content to be copied. And sometimes the page may become unresponsive. But if we wait, as we can see, the contents are copied in input box. So now we have a couple of options here. Let's say we want to know all the select SQL statements from this log. In order to do that, we can click on this select option and we can click on the analyze button. 
So let's wait for the page to respond. And as we can see, we have all the select statements which are available inside this log file. So the log analyzer has handpicked all the SQL statements which has select SQL statements and put them together in this fashion. So this can be extremely helpful because we may want to know if there are certain kinds of updates are happening in our SQL log. For example, if we want to know what are the insert statements and delete statements which are occurring inside this log file. So we can select as per our requirement and if we click on analyze, let's wait for a moment. Then we can get all the delete statements and insert statements which are part of this log. So as we can see, this feature can be extremely helpful in saving our time while analyzing the SQL log files. The next feature provided by this web application is the ability to always open the PeopleSoft component in the correction mode. Let's see one example. So we are on the location page of a supplier in the supplier component and we have an effectuated scroll area which contains the location detail. So for effective dated scroll area, whenever we want to make any changes, then the system forces us to first enter into correction mode and only in the correction mode, we are allowed to make changes. So let's say we want a functionality where the correction mode should be always enabled when we enter the component. We may have this requirement or we may be performing a testing of a PeopleSoft application in which we want to make several changes again and again. So this web extension provides us the functionality to set the correct history mode by default when you enter into a component. In order to enable this feature, we can go to this settings option and into the settings tab, we have this option correct history mode by default. So let's switch on the correct history mode by default. Now let me reload the component. So let's enter into the component. Let's go to the location page. So now we can see that the correct history button is grayed out. That means we have entered into the correction mode and we can make the changes as per the requirement. So these are some of the amazing features provided by the PS Chrome web extension. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. And let's thank Shelby Melbourne for creating this amazing web extension for PeopleSoft developers. So if you found this content helpful, then please like this video. And if you are interested into such content, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.